Thanks for choosing Piacrete. In this video, I will show you how to use the slicing software to slice the model that needs to be printed. Let's take version 1.74.5 as an example, and I will introduce the installation of the software. Before you install the software, please make sure that your computer system is at least Win 7 and 64 bit. Open the installation package. Click Next. Click I accept. Click Next. Click Install. Software installation is complete. Next, I will show you how to use the software. First, open the software. If the language of the software is Chinese and you want to change to English, please refer to the below steps. Now the language has been changed to English. Then please click at printer when you use it for the first time. Here we take DJ89 as an example. Click add. Then we import a file as an example. It should be noted here that the software now supports importing file formats as STL or OBJ. If your file format is not the above two formats, please re-export one of the above two formats in the CAD software or contact us for help after. Let's look at the command bar on the left side of the software interface. The first one is open. You can also import files by this one. The second is move. You can drag the XY arrow to move the model. The third is scale, which can zoom in or out of the model. If you need to individually enlarge or reduce the size in a certain direction, you can uncheck uniform. And then you can individually enlarge or reduce the size in a certain direction. The fourth is rotate, which can change the orientation of the model. If you need a certain side of the model to be parallel to the printing platform, you can check to flatten by face and then select the face of the model that needs to be parallel to the printing platform. The model will automatically rotate to be parallel to the printing platform. The fifth is clone. You can copy the selected model. The sixth is DLP support. When we click generate support, the software will generate support at the position where support needs to be added. Next, we explain in detail the various parameters in DLP support. The tip diameter refers to the diameter of the endpoint of the supports. Support spacing will affect the density of supports. Support diameter refers to the diameter of each support. The height from raft refers to the distance between the lowest point of the model and the printing platform. The raft height refers to the thickness of the base supporting the bottom. The raft size refers to the distance between the edge contour of the base and the edge contour of the model. When we do not need to add a base, we can uncheck whether add base. When we want to delete certain support on the model, we can click edit and select the supporting endpoint that needs to be deleted. Click delete support and editing is complete. Reset can restore the various parameters in the support to the default settings. If you're not familiar with the machine or the resin used, 
we recommend that you use the default support settings first. After you are familiar with it, you can adjust the support parameters according to your needs. The seventh and eighth are drill and hollow. These two commands are generally used at the same time. Via drilling and hollowing, the weight of the model can be reduced, the resin can be saved, and the success rate of model printing can be improved. After selecting the model, click hollow, where you can set the thickness of the shell. After hollow it, it is necessary to punch holes on the non-appearance surface of the model. We click drill. Here you can set the size and depth of the circle. Then click the position to be punched. Usually at the bottom of the model or near the bottom. The last one is print, which is usually done at the end. Here we explain in detail the print parameter settings. There is no need to choose consumables here. Layer height refers to the thickness of each layer after the model is spliced. The minimum can be set to 0.01 mm. The lower the thickness, the finer the printed model, but the longer the printing time. Generally set to 0.05 mm. You can modify it according to your actual needs. XY compensation means that when the XY direction of the model we print is different from the actual size. You can use this option to modify and ray slice and print. Z compensation means that when the Z direction of the printed model is different from the actual size. You can use this option to modify and ray slice and print. Anti-aliasing enabled is when we print the model there are pixel patterns like the picture. You can check this option. Generally, the settings on the slice side are also the default options first. Modify it later according to actual needs. Finally, click on the slice. After slicing, choose to export to local and click save. This is the end of the slicing software tutorial. If you have any questions about the software or the printer, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.